Whenever I'm creating, I always do so with a story in mind. So every creative decision has to convey something, a feeling or an emotion that supports that story. To have that ability to visually communicate my imagination is something incredibly satisfying. As a look development artist, I guess my job is to create believable, tactile worlds that audiences can connect with. And it's really the subtle things that create those connections. Specifically, the relationship between light and surfaces. Why does plastic, for example, look one way and skin look another? These properties are all grounded in reality, so I naturally take notice of them in the real world. Different materials, textures, and the way light can enhance the quality. Because I feel the more I observe and understand, the better I can mimic that in a virtual space. These days, with the tools I have available, computer graphics is becoming a medium of almost no restrictions. And Intel is continually pushing the boundary of what's possible. For instance, the implementation of OpenVKL, along with Renderman, one of the most sophisticated, versatile renderers available, and with the mobility of HX processors, demonstrates how freeing it is as an artist to be limited only by my imagination. The speed in which I can create characters, set design, animate things, and even create volumetric content, all at the same time, is something I wouldn't be able to do just a few years ago. This really is a perfect example of how technology can inspire art. My name is Fabio Sedlarzik, and I'm a look developer.